Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and we are back with another Turtle Wax preview. This isn't necessarily a sponsored video, but they do send out products periodically to YouTube influencers, to detailers, for them to give them authentic, true feedback. I really can appreciate that. They're not telling me, give me, you know, a, a positive review. They're telling me, try this out. Let us know what we think. They are wanting to constantly better themselves as a company, and they want to better the detailing industry. So that's a really cool thing to be a part of. I'm very honored that they allow me the privilege of doing that. They were able to do this virtual birthday bash with hundreds of detailers around the world. They sent us all this really cool package that had um, these, these premium products within it. You can see we've got a really cool shirt. There was a hat that's actually for my husband. But they sent us out this phenomenal new product right here. This is a 75th birthday limited run ceramic graphene paste wax. You can see right here. It's actually signed by the owners of Turtle Wax, which is so cool. It is a family-run business. They really were one of the pinnacles that started detailing industry with their paste wax and, and the once a year and the color magic. And I mean, if you think back, a majority of us started out with Turtle Wax products. I actually started out with a Turtle Wax polisher for my detailing industry. I think I might go a little retro. I might break out the orbital and apply this polish. We'll, we'll see if I can be able to find it, but I'm really excited. This has a unique blend of 10 different waxes, claims up to 12 months and beyond of protection. From what I saw, the beading on this is sick. So I'm really excited to try this out. So let's see what we have going on with this Volvo. Here's our before. You could see we've got a lot of mud splatter road film. This actually is in really good condition. It wasn't too far back that the customer bought it used. It's about a 2016, but it's got that beautiful blue color. We're going to do a wash. We're going to do a clay bar treatment, just remove any sort of road film. That way we have a pure canvas. You can see we've got some cat paw prints. We're going to make this thing so slick that the cat won't even be able to stick to the panel. You're just going to rip right off. <laughs> But I cannot wait. So let's do our prep on the exterior. You guys know how to do that. Use your standard soap. We're going to do a clay bar treatment using our soap. Rinse that off, dry it off, bring it in, and then we'll come back when it is time to apply our ceramic graphene wax. Customers actually spoken to me about possibly bringing it back for monthly maintenances or maybe every two months bringing it back. So hopefully we'll be able to do some updates on the durability of this wax. So I'm really excited to see this product how it performs. So without further ado, let's get this baby clean. All right, dried. guys, we are done with our interior door jams, wash, and our decontamination. We've dried everything off. We are ready to apply our ceramic graphene paste wax. Now, decontamination, some of you may not be familiar with that term. Uh, decontamination is basically essentially removing any sort of bonded contaminants that are on the paint that won't be removed with soap and water alone. Sometimes when you use a clay bar, you're essentially going to use clay just like this, have some sort of lubrication, either clay lubricant or your soapy water. After you've done a wash and rinse, you would go over the surface of the panel. You want to work until it is smooth to the touch and smooth, uh, smooth sounding. There's no kind of grit to your ear. Then you know that you've removed any sort of bonded contaminants. A way to test if you have any, take a plastic baggie, put it over your hand. If you run it over the surface of the paint, if you hear grit, then you know you have bonded contaminants. If you don't hear anything, if you don't feel anything, if it's nice and smooth, you should be good to go. I actually used the Rag Company's Ultra Clay Towel with my soapy water after I did a wash. It's a very fast way when you have proper lubrication, no marring whatsoever. Absolutely love it. Just a fast, effective way to decontaminate a vehicle. So that is another method. Now, when it comes time to applying our ceramic and graphene paste wax from Turtle Wax, let's go ahead, read our directions real quick. Wash and dry vehicle, check. Spread a thin, even coat of wax using an applicator over one section at a time. Allow product to dry to a light haze and remove with a microfiber towel. Use a separate microfiber towel to buff to a high gloss finish. Not recommended for use on plastics and rubber. Note for best performance, paint should be free of oxidation and surface contaminants. Proper maintenance with other hybrid solutions products will enhance gloss and durability. Now, do you have to polish before using this? No, this paint is in moderately good condition. There are some swirls and scratches, but it's not going to hinder. We don't have any sort of oxidation damage to the clear coat. If you want to polish, you can. I've done videos on that. There's numerous videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. You can also use turtle waxes one and done compound. I've done a video on a Tesla Model 3 for those of you that want to check that out. 
very effective way to do a quick paint enhancement. Remove, I would say, 75 to even 90% of swirls and scratches. Finishes down to beautiful uh, gloss and shine. That way you can do a proper prep polish if that is how you want to do. I thoroughly recommend this product. It's fantastic. Now, a lot of people have asked the question, which do you put first? Would you put this down, the ceramic graphene wax, and then would you put the graphene infused to the max wax? I would say choose one or the other and then maintain with the flex wax. This is supposed to be the maintenance product for either the to the max wax or the ceramic and graphene paste wax. Now, I would say this. This is probably not going to give you quite as much longevity. These are two unique formulas. You're going to have fantastic end results with either one, but I would say for both of these products, I would maintain with the Flex Wax, but I don't think that you need to stack these two here, meaning put the graphene paste wax, then the two, the max wax. I would say just apply the ceramic graphene paste wax if that's the wax that you choose and then maintain moving forward with the Flex Wax for enhanced gloss and shine and durability. So, you can see we've got our microfibers ready to go. We are going to use an applicator because that is what they recommend. I know that I was actually thinking I would pull out my Turtle Wax Orbital. I actually started detailing using this. I, it, I This machine and I go back a long way. We have a lot of history. I have much love for this Turtle Wax. They have no idea the kind of legacy and just empowerment that they've given to just kind of the enthusiast to be able to take something that is a passion and make it into a career. So Turtle Wax, thank you for doing stuff like this that allows people like me to get our start and to be able to be where we're at today. So anyways, let's go ahead, apply the wax, see what kind of application it is, and see what kind of removal go it is. Ahead, apply some to our applicator. A little bit of this goes a long way. Thin layers are best. So we're just going to kind of come in here. I don't have a whole lot on here as we prime it. From what I have heard, this one container can do up to about 10 vehicles. So that is fantastic value. I actually saw a quick review from Pan the Organizer. And he used this product and actually said that it rivaled that of some $300, $400 waxes that he has used. Now I'm not too familiar with a lot of paste wax, maybe back in my teen years when this was just kind of the old school way to apply wax, but I will tell you there's just something therapeutic about being able to put little moon pies on a panel My dad was always a big turtle wax guy. The more my applicator gets primed, the easier this is. You can kind of see areas here where it may not have fully covered, but I'm sure once we do our buff off, we will have complete uniformity. That is a work of art right there. A lot <laughs> of their new hybrid solutions products require damp towel to remove. I've not seen any of that. We're gonna see how easy or difficult it is if we just use our dry microfibers that they've provided. It's actually not difficult at all. It feels very slick. And you come in with your second microfiber, just to remove any sort of lingering residue feels nice and slick under the surface. These behind a nice smell. Can't quite put my finger on it. It's kind of like a fruity, but a, a traditional wax. When I think of it, I'll let you know. Can't quite put my thumb on it. So let me bring you in close for removal, because that's what essentially you want to see, right? So we're coming in. I'm going 
gonna bring our fresh microfiber. Forgive me for the shakiness. And you can see, very effortless. Nice gloss and shine. Any sort of residue left behind, easily taken off with the second microfiber. No damp towel needed. They do say to let this fuel cure for 24 hours, ideally before getting wet. But we're gonna test the hydrophobic. So I'm gonna get a spray bottle real quick and we're just gonna see what kind of water hydrophobics we have. As is indicative of a majority of graphene products, you can see really tall beading, tight beads. Very impressive, don't worry, I will be going over that section again, just for those of you that are saying, it's not going to bond now. So very, very nice. You can see water just rolls off very effortlessly. The fact that this is potentially up to 12 months with a single layer is very, very impressive. All right, so I did this entire side just to see how forgiving it is. I did go thinner, uh, which is what they recommended. I was going a little heavy. I find that thinner, like they said, is best. It makes it a whole lot easier to remove, and it doesn't appear that if you were to do like a half of the vehicle, that it is making it problematic to remove. So you can just see, very easy to wipe off. We're just going to do like a quick wipe off with our first towel and then come behind and get anything that we may have missed with our second towel. I hope the customer does come back soon so that I can test out slickness, but everything that I have heard about this and everything I know about graphene says that they get more slick the more they cure. All right, guys, so we are done with this side of the vehicle. You can see we've got fantastic gloss and shine. The hydrophobics were very impressive. What I like is there's no sort of dust or residue, no streaking like in the door jams. We still have this side to do in the trunk. So we're gonna keep moving on that. Customer's gonna be coming shortly. I wanna get this done and get it pulled out and be able to do a walk around for you guys. So we're gonna keep moving. All right, guys, we are all done applying our Turtle Wax Ceramic Graphene Paste Wax. 
My husband came in and actually said it smells like grapes, and I would have to agree with him. That is what I've been smelling. I'm not the best at identifying smells, but you can see I did not use a whole lot of this. A little does go a long way. My applicator pad probably needs to be deep cleaned. Maybe I'll be able to get one more use out of it. These are actually very nice applicator pads. They don't fly up in your hands. Sometimes applicator pads, you know, if you, you don't go over the panel properly, they'll fly up and fall to the ground and then you have to get a fresh one. So the products that they provide to apply are very user friendly. The microfibers that they provide, the low GSM green ones, uh, they do a fantastic job when you let that product set up properly. Uh, you remove your initial layer of the paste and then buff to perfection. I will say my friend Gabe Fletcher over at Total Detailing Auto Surface Protectant, he has these purple monster microfibers. I'll put the link for them down below. I did find them to make the removal a little bit more user friendly, a little bit less tedious. Paste wax are not necessarily for the faint of heart. There are a lot of easier products to apply, but you're not gonna get the durability and you're not gonna get kind of just all of the composition that's behind this product. I'm really excited to see the long-term results. So we're gonna go ahead, pull this outside for you guys. We'll do a walk around with the daylight. Thankfully, it is a sunny day, but it is a cold day. That's why we're in the heated garage. Now they do say with this product, you want to apply it above 50 degrees and below 100. So that's very user-friendly. I don't have a lot of trim on this vehicle that, you know, it was hazardous. You can tape it off if you want, if you have black trim. I did not apply it to the glass just because I've already done that, but we did apply it to our headlights. All in all, 30 minutes to apply, very um, pleasant user experience. I'm very happy with the end results. I think my customer is going to be absolutely blown away, especially with the fact that I've been able to protect their vehicle for up to a year, if not over a year, if they properly maintain with this product right here. And the great thing about it is this is a retail product, so I can let them know, hey, pick up the Turtle Wax Flex Wax to maintain the base coat of what I've been able to apply on your vehicle. And I think they're going to be extremely happy with the end results, but hopefully they bring it back to me so that way I can maintain it for them, right? All right, guys, well, let's pull her out into the daylight and see what she looks like. All right, guys, here's our finished look at the Turtle Wax Ceramic Graphene. You can see once we pull it outside, fantastic gloss and shine that honestly, I believe, would rival any ceramic coated vehicle. I did not polish this vehicle. Like I said, you do not have to polish your vehicle to apply this. You're just going to get even more gloss and shine because you're not going to have those swirls kind of preventing the sun from reflecting perfectly. But you can see, even on an unpolished vehicle, we still have fantastic gloss and shine. I think the customer is going to be extremely happy with the end result. What's nice about a paste wax, if you miss a spot, you're going to see it because it's going to haze up. You can just easily come in, wipe that off. I had a couple once I pulled it out into the daylight. But all in all, very impressed, very happy with the end result. Hopefully we will have the vehicle in shortly for us to be able to do some updates for you guys on durability. But for now, we're going to call this one a wrap, get this ready for the customer to pick up. But fantastic product. Thank you again, Turtle X, for allowing me to test it out, to give some feedback. Happy birthday. Wish you many, many more years of success. And thank you for all that you've done for the detailing industry, for the legacy that you and Dennis and Sandra and all of your employees have been able to be a part of. So thank you guys. We will see you in the next video. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell off to the side to stay tuned for any future videos that we have coming out. But for now, we're gonna call this one a wrap. Have a great day and we will see you in the next video.